Hey Libra, give me a chance just here to do a love reading for you. And it's what is going on in your love life here, Libra. When I'm shuffling your cards, I feel there was a new start in your life. The person that you have in your thoughts could be coming into your life or back into your life, whatever the case may be. Now, we have from the Romance Age of Cards here, trust issues. Um, the angels are asking you to have faith in this relationship. You also have to take the role of um, the conversation here with this person. If it's someone coming back into your life, they're going to speak the truth to you. They're, they're pointing at that they were confused back then. That's what I'm feeling. There was a lot of uncertainty and confusion if this was someone in your past. So let's see. You've got two cards that have fallen out here. And we've got the soulmate. So this is your soulmate. You know, perhaps... Back then, there was a lot of uncertainty. Um, it wasn't the right timing for you guys to be together. Now let's see what else we've got. Under the Lenormand deck, we've got the ring. So this is definitely about a relationship. Someone that wants to bond with you. Now, we have also from the um, Enchanted Blossom cards, love card. So this is the lilac, and I'm going to read to you from the book here, Libra, um, because I'm not familiar with these cards as yet. But it is a lilac, and the butterfly is a veined J. So this uh, card is beautiful, and its intoxicating scent of lilac has appealed to humans for thousands of years. In Greek mythology, Pan used the hollow reeds of the lilac bush to create the first pan pipe. Not realising the shrub was the nymph, Syringa, whom he had been chasing. In Russia, holding a lilac sprig over a newborn baby is said to bring wisdom. Now, the lilacs have been featured in the paintings of some of the most famous impressionists of the 20th century. And the scent of the uh, lilac is a primary reason it was carried across the lands. It remains a popular fragrance for our bodies and homes with shampoo, candles, etc., and when this card makes an appearance, it's a reminder not uh, not only to delight in others, but to love yourself as well. You must adore who you are here, Libra, and what you do. Make sure your actions and thoughts are aligned with love and affection. And it will grow from here. So you do not stumble upon self-love. It is something you cultivate and practice daily. <coughs> Excuse me. Use only kind words when you talk and think of yourself. Pamper yourself. Take care of yourself. Go out on dates or schedule some time just to do something for you that you're going to enjoy. Devoting time and taking care of yourself means you'll have plenty of love to give to others and the ability to receive as well. So you need to ask yourself, how can you better yourself in that, that way? Now, it's funny that um, it said about realigning because you've got the realignment card here. Feel the ebb and flow of life. So I'm going to read that for you too. Beautiful seal here. Okay, so in the turmoil of life, it is easy to be carried away on a current that is making you... A, a, sorry, I'll start again here, Lib Libra. In the turmoil of life, it is easy to be carried away on a current... And it's taking you away from where you want to be. The mother of water comes to help you swim back into the flow of the divine alignment. Life is a sea of energetic forces, pushing and pulling. If you feel battered and bruised and as though you are gasping for air, Goddess is here to guide you to the waters again. Just feel her soothing touch. Let her help you find practices and ways that will bring and keep you centred. She will realign you. And she knows what is to, uh, to the ebb and flow. If you are aligned with the push and pull, you can flow with it. Strong and unscathed. Your body is energy. Listen to its natural rhythms and remember to flow with them. The goddess may send you a guide in the form of one of her water creatures. The seal may come up into your life, perhaps in your dreams or as a picture sculpture. Or in the flesh in whatever form it comes to you the goddess will be reminding you to pay attention to your deep inner feelings 
your at, uh, imagination and intuition because you've got the um you're very intuitive here so there's a lot of uh beautiful times ahead coming up for you you just got to go with the ebb and flow of life here so that's a beautiful card that's come out too and it ties in with the love card here now um, with the lenormand cards we have the moon as a focus and this is about you um having the chance of romance it's very strong here libra and there are mutual feelings that exist between you and somebody else now you possibly um separated with this person in the past because there was trust issues maybe there was a lot of uncertainty and um this was an emotional decision because of some instability that was going on in your life now you are receiving a love letter because uh this person or from this person or perhaps you're sending one but i'm feeling it's strongly coming from a man now you've been thinking um that you want emotional security with a man in your life and um this could be a foreign man too because um this man is dark dark hair dark eyes this man is definitely uh emotional and creative but maybe they're still hiding something you know uh the moon was in this card over here the realignment card maybe um the goddess is realigning them as well and spirits intervening so things are still a little bit hidden from you at this moment now with the lily and the scythe in the lenormand cards i feel like in the past this was a, a, a lack of passion when your relationship came to an end now this man is older than you and very decisive in their decision back then but i really do feel like you're going to receive a message from this person uh, or it could come in the way of um, a postal worker delivering it to your Libra. But I feel like the message is definitely from someone that's older. Now, you're definitely um, someone that wants a relationship with you. Again, now it could be a Taurus in the reading. Uh, I'm going to see what has triggered... What triggered... Uh, this person wanting to come back with you. I know there's chemistry and still something between you. And it's your soulmate connection. Let's see what's triggered it. Oh, that one just flew out. Okay. So maybe um, this person's at a distance because this is my foreign card. And they're making their journey back to you. Let's see what else. Maybe they've been away. Okay. So there definitely is decisions to be made now i'm feeling it's on the next full moon or the next new moon that's coming up for you but this person's uh making multiple trips and uh changing uh boats and planes and trains just to see you so um they're trying to get to you they realize they that you're their soulmate and this trip's happening in secret i feel You've received a letter, but I don't feel that they've told you they're coming to see you. I feel it's more, more of a love letter to express their feelings. And they're trying to harvest this relationship with you. And it definitely is your soulmate. Definitely someone that you've known for a very long time. So you need to make decisions about this person here. They're definitely returning back into your life with the writer here. They're very active and they're on a pursuit. <laughs> they're on a pursuit here, Libra. So... Um, all the very best there's got a lot of uh, realignment to do but it's going to happen uh, just have a bit more trust here yeah, have faith in this relationship they're going to speak their truth and uh, they're going to point out the reason why they did split in the past there was a lot of confusion uncertainty they were too much up in their head so that's all i have for you guys love and blessings bye for now